Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is Tuesday, May 7th, and today I am going to be filming a keto full day of eating vlog. Okay, so I have not filmed in a couple of days because this past weekend was a bit of a whirlwind. So me and my grandmother set out on this little road trip to go see all the friends and family. This weekend was very crazy to say the least, but I'm glad to be back at home, back in my element, and I am just feeling so motivated in life right now. I'm just feeling happy and dedicated, and I hope that some of these changes I have implemented in my diet are starting to show, because me, I am just feeling so, so good right now, and I absolutely love it. However, it is currently 10.55 a.m., so I'm getting a little bit of a late start to this video. I dragged my tired little butt out of bed this morning and went to the CrossFit class at 8.15 and got my workout done because I have a to-do list, you know, a mile long. So much to do. So, got up, got my workout in, and yeah, I'm going to stop rambling and let's go ahead and get this day started yeah underneath my desk we have a bow doing his favorite thing of just sucking on his stuffed teddy bear you love that thing don't you buddy he just loves his stuffed animals so much it just melts my little heart it is now about 12:20, and i'm going to go ahead and break my fast and have my first meal of the day so for my first meal I am going to have one of these real good food breakfast sandwiches. This is the sausage egg and cheese breakfast biscuit. I have been loving those breakfast sandwiches so much. Real Good Foods reached out to me and was like, hey, you want to give a case away? And I was like, heck yeah, let's give away a case of the breakfast sandwiches. So they have two different kinds. There is the bacon, egg, and cheese, as well as the sausage, egg, and cheese. And if you want to be entered to win an entire case of these breakfast sandwiches, all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to me on YouTube. You've got to follow them on Instagram or Facebook and leave a comment down below about which one you would like to win. And in just a couple of days, I will pick the winner to win an entire case of these keto-friendly breakfast sandwiches. I will also have the rules listed down below in the description of how to enter. But I am going to go ahead and eat my sandwich and go to Best Buy because after rescheduling my appointment literally seven times with the Apple repair people, I'm hoping to go get my phone screen fixed that has been broken since January 7th, the day I moved into this darn place. Let's go, it's gonna be a good day, it's gonna be a good day. Mm, 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 mm. Bo has now switched from sucking on his teddy bear to sucking on his favorite stuffed kitty. <laughs> you just not the sweetest, most adorable animal in the entire world. Yeah. Here's a little before picture of my phone. See, the whole thing is totally cracked. The cracks go like all the way down the screen. So let's hope we go get it fixed. Let's go. Okay, I just left Best Buy. I thought that the screen replacement was going to take like... 30 minutes or so well they are making me leave it there for a couple of hours and oh my golly i i just don't know what to do with myself so i've already reached for my phone like 19 times but it's not there it's at best buy while i was in best buy i hopped on over to the camera section because i am always just swooning over camera gear but it is so expensive oh my gosh i saw that they had sd cards on sale and sd cards y'all are expensive like a lot of money like normally these 64 gigs are like i think it said 47.99 but this one was on sale for 19.99 and these were on sale for like 17.99 Cody and I are actually starting a second YouTube channel. Well, it's already started, but now that we have our bay boat, we are going to be taking cameras out, 
recording all of our fishing videos, recording us catching them, eating them, all of the fun things. So I got us some more GoPro batteries and a GoPro charger. I got all of the things I need to get that channel up and going. I will leave a link to that channel down below if you want to subscribe to it. But now I am going to go into Costco and pick up a couple of things. I just got home from Costco and I, of course, got lost on the way home because I didn't have a GPS to navigate me home. Of course, I never even thought about like, oh cat, maybe you should know how to get home. I got lost, but thankfully I made it home, so that's great. But let me show you the couple of items I picked up at Costco. I picked up one of their rotisserie chickens because I really want to shred it and make chicken salad. I got some of this sliced grass-fed beef sirloin. Cody and I bought this a couple of times now. It's cooked sous vide and oh my gosh, it is absolutely fabulous. Pick this up at Costco if you're interested. It is so good and it comes in like two separate portions so we can get two meals out of this. And then of course I had to pick up our favorite coastal English cheddar cheese. I got two blocks because we went through it so fast last time. And yeah, that's all I got. Nothing too exciting. It has been a little while since I checked in. It is now 525 and I'm joined by Cody right here. Say hello. Hey y'all. And we have been running around for like the past hour and a half. First off, we went to a marine store. Our boat needed a couple of things and we are hoping that we get to put it in the water for the very first time tomorrow. So we needed to make sure we have all the safety things, all the ropes, all the anchors, so that we are on the water and we got everything we need. And then we just ran to Best Buy and I picked up my phone it was a very long couple of hours without it, but I survived and I now have a working front screen. It is wonderful. And now we both haven't eaten very much today. All I've had is that Real Good Foods breakfast sandwich. And all I've had is a Slim Jim. I guess I win. I have more calories than him so far. <laughs> I'm hungry. We are going to run into five guys and they do a really good keto friendly burger. You just ask for no bun and you can load it with all the delicious toppings that you want. So let's go into five guys and get something to eat because we are both starving. I didn't want to get copyrighted for this footage because of the music in the background, but what I got was a double bacon cheeseburger in a bowl. It had two slices of cheese, some bacon, two patties, and then I got grilled mushrooms and onions as well with mayo on the side. Just look at this beauty right here. I cannot believe she is ours, but we're hopefully gonna take it out for the first time tomorrow. So we went and got us a net if we catch some fish. We got some rope to tie off, some anchor rope. We got an anchor. So we have all the stuff that we need to go out in it. And then over here is our other boat. I have had a lot of people ask me about this boat. Everyone's been like, why did you get another boat? You already have a boat. Well, this boat right here is a bass boat and it is made for freshwater fishing, does not take waves very well. If you see, it is a very shallow boat as opposed to that one over there. It's got a lot more depth to it, so it can handle the waves better and all of the above. So we still have this boat right now. We do have it currently listed for sale. If you're interested, it is currently listed at, I believe, 4,500, but I think we are going to drop the price pretty soon. It's a great little boat if you're in the Mobile area and want a bass boat. This is a great little starter boat. I never thought I would be a boat owner, let alone a double boat owner right now. I can't believe it, but it's the best thing ever. Except I do wish this one would sell. Crazy dog. Crazy Bo. What you doing? 
Alright guys, I had to give y'all a quick update on my plants because I just discovered something very exciting. So these are the cannas that I purchased from Costco and they were just like one little tiny thing whenever I purchased them. And look, they're growing, they're beautiful. Hopefully they make some flowers, but this is the real gem that I just discovered. Y'all, I am growing some succulents. Holy moly i don't know where these came from but i had some like little leaves that broke off of some of my other succulents so i just shoved them in this wet soil to see if something might happen and i looked in here today and holy crap i did it now i don't know what to do next because i know succulents shouldn't be in like wet soil for forever but but i did it guys this is the best day ever oh my golly i'm so excited it is currently 10:28, and for the past two hours i have been dealing with progressive trying to get our boat policy for our bass boat switched over to a policy for alabama and then adding on our other boat and it's just been a hot mess and a half to get it accomplished so yeah that's kind of how our evening has gone it's just been a hot mess i've been working on the boat insurance cody's in the other room getting certified to drive the boat so we're just ready to be these boaters all the time we're ready to boat <laughs> now i am just on my computer pinteresting watching jacqueline hill doing some research over here and just having a grand old time so a little update let's just keep on doing what we're doing <laughs> Some certain Cocker Spaniel, and I'm not mentioning any names, decided to be very, very difficult today. Mm-hmm. I wonder who that would be. He always takes his flea medication very easily. Well, today, uh-huh, hey, uh -huh, come here. Someone decided that he wasn't going to take his medicine. I went through an entire piece of cheese and some peanut butter, and he still spit it out. So someone had to have it shoved down his throat i don't ever want to do that and you made it very difficult for me today well my bad dog oh you got a crooked lip decided that today was not the day to get flea medication just look at that little bad face how can you not love it though i love you even though you're so bad oh even though you're so bad Hello friends, it is now the ripe hour of 12.47 a.m. I don't know why I am still up, but after dealing with that whole boat insurance fiasco, I was checking my email and I got an email from AT&T that my internet bill was going up by $45 after it's been the same price for a year and a half. Someone is just wanting me to go a little crazy when I'm having a great day today. <laughs> but yeah, so that is what I have been dealing with. And in this light, I can see that I am going to be so bruised tomorrow all across my chest. So we did like 100 plus push jerks today. And that's where you're holding the barbell on your chest and you're pushing it up. And so when you get heavier, I accidentally hit my collarbone area with that barbell like a hundred pounds of weight on that barbell and it's very sore and it's not very good but it is what it is i felt very strong today that's all that matters even though i got some battle wounds from it anyways i am going to stop rambling and just go ahead and close out this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it it was a pretty simple day of eating i could have probably done a little bit more food today but i wasn't hungry so i'm not going to force myself to eat if i'm not hungry i hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you did please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so and I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye, guys. Mwah!